the year is still new. New enough that you can remember the resolutions you made at the beginning of the year. It's old enough that you've begun to run into some obstacles in carrying them out. This is why it's good to think about how you maintain a resolution. And to remember why it's good to have resolutions for the new year. The year may be new, but we're getting older. And as the body ages, you need something to compensate so that even though the body is getting weaker, you want the mind to get stronger. Because as the body weakens, the mind's going to need that strength to deal with the pains of aging, illness, approaching death. These are things we have to think about, we have to prepare for. And so as the body weakens, the mind needs to be strengthened in its conviction and in its mindfulness, its persistence, all the good qualities it needs to face up with things. So whatever you've chosen to take as your way of strengthening the mind this year, how is it going along? How do you keep it going along? There are four qualities that the Buddha talks about as to going to any vow or any determination. The first is discernment, which means, of course, choosing a good goal to begin with. And once you've chosen it, then figure out how to maintain it, knowing where your weaknesses are, where the things that might get in the way will be, and how you might deal with them, and how to make up for the weak points by taking advantages of the strengths that you already have. But you have to remember, as you go into any situation, you're not totally weak. You do have some strengths. You have to find where they are. Otherwise, if you focus on your weaknesses all the time, you just get weaker and weaker and weaker, and it turns into a downward spiral. So where are your strengths right now, and how can you take advantage of them? One of your strengths is a sense of pride. You've made this vow, and you want to stick with it. And this is where the second quality comes in, that's truth. Truth doesn't mean just telling the truth, but it also means being true. And if you can't be true to your own vows, especially the ones that have to do with your own well-being, who can you trust in this world? You can't trust yourself to do these things. So try to ha be truthful to your vows. And then the third quality is jakat, being willing to make sacrifices. Because whatever gains are in the world, there are things that have to be sacrificed. We can't have everything that we want. We have to be careful about what we choose. It's like planting trees in your garden. You may decide, I want to have a tree from every part of the world. I want to be open and have an international garden. But there are some trees that will kill other trees. You put eucalyptus in your garden and it kills off everything else. So you have to make sure that what you put in your garden is all going to be for the good. And that's for things that will harm your true welfare. You've got to Give those things up and learn how to be okay with giving them up. That leads to the fourth quality, which is having a sense of peace in the mind. Having the equanimity that realizes, okay, whatever gains I need, there will have to be some sacrifices, some things that I like, but you're doing it for the sake of what, what is your true good, your true well-being. And true well-being, it, it doesn't have any internal conflicts. The conflicts are the things that are not necessarily your true well-being, but you like. So you learn how to look at things this way, it makes it a lot easier to let go of those other things. This way you've got all the qualities you need in order to carry your vow through. The discernment, the truth, the willingness to make sacrifices, and the sense of peace in the mind that doesn't get worked up over the sacrifices. And also doesn't get worked up over the times when you fail in your vow and you just learn to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and keep on going. That way you do have something to compensate for the fact that with each new year you're getting older. And as the body weakens, you can still make the mind stronger.